Greetings and welcome to another edition of Emerging Tech Talk. I'm your host, Dan York. And in this show, I want to give you a brief update on what's going on with ETT, uh, why there haven't been as many episodes as I've hoped, and where it's going and all that type of thing. So I realized recently that many, if not most of you, subscribe to this show through iTunes or other tools, and the only way to get information to you is through putting out another video. So here goes. Now, back when I began this show, the whole point was to create a quick video podcast that would allow me to share some of the enthusiasm and passion I have for many of the new services that are out there. Uh, Chase Bright Shiny Objects, basically, was what I've talked about this is, related to communications. And those might be services, might be products, might be you know applications on an iPhone, might be whatever. And that's how the show began and how it's gone on. It produced very quickly through my either my MacBook Pro or through my handheld camera, and uh, uploaded to YouTube, made available very quickly and easily. And that's how it's been going. But if you've noticed, I haven't exactly been uh, keeping up with producing shows. My numbers uh, dwindled precipitously. I think I put out two shows in April, one of which was the April Fool's gag about COBOL, and one in May, this one, here on the 14th of May. So what's going on is kind of an intersection of um, some items in my own personal life as well as um, what's some workflow dynamics that turned out to be a bit more challenging than I originally planned. On the, uh, on the personal front, first of all, I've changed roles with Inboxeo about two and a half months ago. I moved from our office as CTO to heading up our marketing and communications team. I'm now our director of conversations, focusing on not just social media, but also on our broader you know, communications, everything, analyst relations, uh, news releases, events, all of that. Uh, there's a team that, uh, that I work with that's fantastic. And, uh, and so part of this last two and a half months and why there haven't been as many ETT shows, mostly been I've been in a lot of learning, learning what we're doing, how we're doing it, looking at the ways that we work with the larger communication sphere, marketing, all of this, how do we do it? So the other aspect is that about three weeks ago, my wife gave birth to our second child. And so add in the chaos of leading up to a birth and after birth and all of those little details combined with new job role and then thirdly combined with a more challenging workflow it has a lot to do with why there haven't been shows. Now the workflow aspect I'll just share a little bit about what goes on to produce this show. In my original idea I was just going to open up iMovie shoot the video as I'm doing now add some text overlays do some basic editing and then publish it to YouTube. There's a nice little share YouTube feature inside of iMovie. Unfortunately, it didn't work quite as well because I can publish it to YouTube very easily, but that doesn't get it into iTunes, which was where I wanted to ultimately get it, was to be able to have you subscribe, as many of you are doing. Now, to do that, I had to create a separate RSS feed, but to create the RSS feed, I needed to have not... I couldn't use the Flash video that YouTube has. I needed to have real, honest-to-goodness um, movie files, QuickTime files, M4V files, whatever it may be. So to do that, I need to host them up on our blog server. So my workflow now is that I go and I create this show, as I'm doing, add the overlays, add and the editing, and then I upload it once to YouTube. I, or I generate it, I export it to an M4V file, I upload that to YouTube, then I upload it to our blog server, and I create the blog entry, log into the blog server, you know, associate the, the, the uh, media file with the entry, and post that and all of that. And it's not difficult to do. It just takes a bit more, especially with the dual uploads, to, uh, to get an episode out than I was originally intending. Now, I've thought about using sites like Vimeo or Blip TV that would let me do a single upload and provide me a linkage to YouTube and also provide me with uh, an, a podcast feed. But to be honest, I do find aspects of having it on our own system very useful. So I'm still working on this. So I'm still continuing this way. I'll still be working this way. I have a queue of some great shows. I did a great interview with a developer named Ted Gilchrist, who has put together a, uh, a great example of using uh, creating an app that works with, uh, actually he uses Amazon S3 to store some recordings. He has his application actually running on Google App Engine. He's using us for the interface to the PSTN and Skype and SIP and everything. And so it's a wonderful illustration of using multiple clouds to create a, a really compelling voice application. I've got some interviews with some other folks that I've recorded at a couple of e-com. Uh, some more that I'll be putting out in the, in the time ahead here. So I'm not going away. 
But I wanted to give you a little bit of a background as to where the show uh, has been and why it's taken a little bit longer. So if you've got comments about uh, what you'd like to see in the show, please feel free to leave them here at the show blog at blogs.voxeo.com slash ETT. Or you can email them to me at dyork at voxeo.com. And uh, hopefully soon I'll be back with you with some more shows and some more things going on. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And I do appreciate all the kind words and feedback that I've had over this past time. It's been a lot of fun, and I'm looking forward to doing more with this show. Bye for now.